Ah, the Swan Knights, the glorious Swan Knights of Gondor, the finest cavalry in the realm, sallying out to fight Gondor's enemies and uh, send them back to the abyss that they came from. So welcome back, guys. I'm Pope John Paul, and welcome back to another Rise of Mordor battle for you guys today. And yes, we have two units of Swan Knights, or Knights of the Silver Swan, instantly going out, followed by some Gondor cavalry. Uh, we have an excellent 3v2, as I mentioned there. We've got Gondor, or two armies of Gondor, I should say, against three armies of evil. We do have uh, Dol Guldur over here. We do have Rune back here in the rear on the top of the hill. And we have Isengard on this other hill over here. And uh, yes, this is an excellent uh, 3v2 sent in by a member of the Discord and also a sub. So if you want to join, uh, the Discord link is down below to send in your own... Uh, Rise of Mordor action, or maybe Rome 2, or any Total War action, whatever it is. Um, more than welcome, I always enjoy looking at your guys' replays and, uh, well, using them on the channel. Um, yeah, so if you haven't already, please do the dis join the Discord down below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment to show your support if you want to see more Rise of Mordor action. Um, but yes, while we're waiting on, on, on uh, like the cavalry to do something, we'll have a quick look at some of these armies. So, I mean, it looks like we've got some of the uh, uh, very good units. I do apologize. I've, like, had a swig of lemonade before we started, and I'm, like, burping madly, or trying not to burp. Um, so, yeah, we look, look like we've got the undead phantoms here. We've got, uh, what else have we got? We've got Orc Rabble or Mordor Rabble. We've got Loki Rim, I'm pretty sure, somewhere here. Yes, there they are, Loki Rim Macemen. We've got Isengard with its Isengard uh, infantry. But as I can already see, we're going to have some charges here. We are going to have some charges. It uh, looks like we're going to have Gondor Cavalry going after some archers over here. We've got lots of crossbows set up here. Oh, and there's going to be a nice charge up this hill by the Uruk uh, onto the Urukai by the Swan Knights, of course. We'll just uh, watch this as this, this glory goes in. Excellent. And a clash into it. And they and that other unit sort of caught onto them as well. And it's but then followed on into the unit above. I do apologize if it ever so slightly jittery. I do believe that this is a replay from the past updates, so that which is 3.0.3.2 uh, and then we've now got a 0 0.3.2.5 update which is what I'm currently using. So we've added this a little bit, so it might be that, it's just uh, jishing a little bit, so that might be the case. But anyway, it still looks excellent as always. Still have some brilliant Swan Knights doing their little bit. Oh. As that man gets cut down. He's not so brilliant. We'll say that one was uh, a rookie. He was a, a new a new guy. New guy that joined the unit. But it does look like they're actually nearly at the walls. We've got lots of phantoms going up first. Not a bad unit to send up first since it's, well, undead so they'll bre not break. Uh, we've got Gondor infantry ready over here. I did wonder why they were facing that way, but they are defending there. No one's defending this spot here, though. They've got all these areas like nicely tightened up, but no one defending that one spot, which kind of, kind of... Begs the point why I defend all these spots. Certainly over here, I don't know why. I mean, there's a few spots. There's actually a few places they'll attack, but they certainly got a lack of reserves as the cavalry carries on doing its thing. We've now got them chasing down archers. I mean, these crossbows are getting absolutely like destroyed, and then they're going into this one as well. We've got Gonda cavalry joining them here. God, it's havoc for Isengard. I do feel for Isengard. He's having a real rough time with this cavalry here. Um, and yeah, luckily Rune, who's the only guy that could really bring cavalry for the evil forces, hasn't decided to do so. As like, I can't even see any of these Zurakai. They're literally getting like destroyed by uh, the Gondor cavalry. As like, what have we got coming in here? Loki Rim, desperately trying to come and help. Um, I don't know whether that's a good idea. You're kind of condemning that Loki Rim almost. That cavalry could just run away, then turn around and charge, and it's just the same damage to you. And as you kind of kind of see here. It's going to be some, uh, oh my gosh, it's going to be some Gondor Cavalry doing the job. Spear Cavalry, they're pretty good. They're kind of like shock, but they're also kind of, I guess they're kind of not. This hill's also kind of like a bit weird. Hard to get a bit of a good camera view. This guy's kind of getting pinned down though, surrounded by troops. Just the detail on these cavalry is just excellent, excellent. Um, but yeah, let's go and have a look and see what's happening inside the sea. So we do have some... Oh, I was about to say we have some fine, but it's just a trebuchet getting taken out. Um, poor trebuchet crew. But it does look like they've got the this 
ram to the wall, the mortal rabble have survived. And there's nothing here defending it. Oh, actually, there's a, there is a citadel guard that might need to be uh, deployed quite soon. Certainly isn't anything coming across, um, well, onto this wall immediately. But, I mean, yeah, this... Oh, there's some more uh, gondola swords as well here. Okay, well, this mortal rabble's not going to really cause an issue. But, yeah, so we have stuff onto the... Coming onto the walls there. There's stuff on the walls here. And already off the walls, I can see something coming off the walls. Ah, the phantoms. The undead men. Who have, uh, well, they've got to die again, basically. I imagine dying once, coming back, just to die once more. Uh, and they're being faced by only some archers. Uh, yeah, like, I, oh, this is the area that I pointed out. This is just not defended. So we're going to have to see some uh, Gondor archers here do their bit. And it does look like... We're going to see uh, phantoms coming up. Yeah, they're just doing their little bit, you know. Phantoms already fighting down here. Um, well, this is not going to end well for the phantoms because they've just got... This looks like more than one unit. There's only one. Gondor Spear Infantry just down here fighting out. And yeah, I mean, they're coming off the wall and they're just dying. I don't actually think the phantoms, the rest of them, come over here. They're all coming off this way now. We're, yeah, so they're all fighting uh, swords here. These swords should beat the spears of the phantoms. Um, whether they do, um, is unknown. I mean, the phantoms don't break. That's the thing. Like, oh, there's Wraiths in here as well, which is the sword variant of the phantoms. Um, or the phantoms of the spear variant of the Wraiths, whatever you prefer. But, um, yeah, so, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see. I mean, the Gondor infantry will eventually break because they're living men and they kind of want to survive. Phantoms and Wraiths are just like, hell. We don't care if we die. We've died once already. It's okay. Um, but yeah, so we'll have to see whether they actually can break this Gondor infantry unit. Gondor has got a lot, a lot more armor. I mean, they've got archer support as well. I'm going to say that they're... Yeah, Gondor's lost not a single man yet. I think they'll be okay. Um, and we've got stuff already on the walls here. Or off the walls here. I did forget to say that this map is uh, Ethering. This is one of the new maps in the uh, new update. So I do recommend you go and uh, get the new update. I'll leave the link down below. And uh, so you can go out and try out some of these maps. Oh, this is a cool little defense up here. I didn't even realize this. Oh, this is cool. Can you put arches up here? If you can put arches up here, that is amazing. Um, but yeah, so we've got Fountain Guard defending this last spot. We have some arch Gondor arches here. And Citadel Guards. That's a very cool last stand. Um, but yeah, the oh my gosh, they're defending these bridges like heavily. Got spears and pikes ready. We've got uh, warriors, lozenach with gold chevrons. Jeez, the defenders are certainly gonna have a rough time. Um, they've just about dealt with the cavalry. I want to, mm, I say just about. There's still quite a lot. General over here is mopping up some uh, knights of the silver swan. Yeah, these guys are pretty tired. I can imagine also their shocks. So they don't do as well in combat as melee. So we have the elites of two factions here duking it out. Bane of the Steps, I think we'll probably... Well, yeah, we'll win this. They're already winning decisively. And the uh, Swan Knights aren't. And this Loki Rim is also going in to help support. So infantry support infantry support in a cavalry fight, always useful. And here we go. We've got Mordor Rabble inside. The scummy little orcs, they're inside. And they're going after archers. Not a bad decision. These archers should just break them. <laughs> I think this guy did get shot by a like a mi like a loose arrow that just went somewhere else. Those archers are not firing at this rabble. But yes, this uh, these orcs are just literally going like a sword and a shield and told go in a battle. These orcs are really skinny as well. They're like the runts of the litter. Oh, the towers have fallen. Oh, that's actually huge. That's got a lot of Gondor infantry here. And I'm sure it's done the same over here with the uh, Citadel Guards. No, it hasn't, actually. Oh, they haven't got a tower by them. That's why. But yeah, they've taken this tower through capturing this gate. And uh, they killed so many Gondor infantry. And they didn't. I don't think Gondor's realized. And Gondor still yet to lose a, a man against the uh, Phantoms. And what's this? Okay, so we have Pelagir Marines. I don't think we've actually shown these guys off, but these guys are really cool. They're like a Java unit, and they are really, really cool. And uh, 
They're fighting some phantoms as well. I don't know who will win this. Phantoms being a... Uh, obviously another... Again, undead. But these Pelagir are medium skirmishes. They're actually beating the phantoms. Jeez. I'm not surprised these Pelagir Marines are good. They are supposed to be like a melee slash skirmisher variant. Good to see them on the battlefield. And here we go. What have we got coming in? We've got something in the distance. Gondor infantry, of course. A very professional looking Gondor infantry. I do love Gondor. Old but classic faction. Obviously, as everyone's like getting hyped about like the new elven factions and stuff like that. But I mean, Gondor with its like professional looking armor. Obviously, the elves are professional looking armor as well. But Gondor with silver armor is still great. It's just old but gold. And there you go. I think these Pelagian Marines have basically won that fight. I mean, they haven't because they're still phantom standing. Um, but they're doing okay. And this Mordor Rabble's actually deep. Jeez, how is Mordor Rabble beating archers? Sure, these are heavy bows against light melee. Surely, like, they wouldn't. And then we've got Citadel Guard coming. Imagine being one of these Orc Rabble and just see this elite Citadel Guard come into the back and you're just like, oh, crap. What am I supposed to do? And what you're supposed to do is pray that you just, I don't know, you get a quick death, I presume. But yeah, these uh, these archers aren't doing so hot. I'm surprised. They're just as armoured as the uh, as the infantry. Actually, I think it's just routed there, hasn't it? Yeah, the mortal rabble just routed there. But they took a good amount of them out. About 60 of them are dead. I think most of them are from the mortal rabble as well. Yeah, yeah, I'd say they're all from the Mordor Rabble. And here we go. Wow, we've already got Loki Rim in here now. Uh, they're surrounded by Gondor sword infantry from both factions or both armies. We've got Varig Warriors now coming in. Um, certainly one thing I would recommend, don't do, block, blob this gate. Don't bother. I mean, two units here, Urukai and Loki Rim should be enough. But that should be it. That's all that needs to be in here. What's just broken here then? More Loki Rim breaking. We've got spear infantry just forming their uh, spear water. Spear... Spear Square, we'll call it. Yes. That's that's definitely what it should be called. And yeah, we've got just lots of Gondol stuff here. Really, they're doing well here. And um, we've got more Urukai coming onto the walls, though. What have we got here? Urukai Infantry. They need to get some crossbows. I don't know if Uruk like there's any crossbows left. Yeah, there's a few, but not many. Um, they need to get them onto the wall. And they need to... Uh, well, just start focusing stuff down. I mean, luckily you can see Gondor is running out of our ammo in some areas. And, well, they're actually quite deep into the enemy lines. Uh, oh, more Pelagir Marines. Good to see these guys. I already said it once, but... I don't know what it is about these guys. They just are excellent. Excellent. I'm certainly going to have to try them out next time I play Gondor. Whenever that will be. You can hear stuff still dying, but yes. Uh, Dolador's going to need to set up some more troops by the looks of it. He's got a lot of undead stuff. Um, I don't know. He's got some pikes. That'll be good. He's got any... He's got gold or glaives. He's got gold or blades. I think he is bringing mostly undead stuff, though. He's got pikes on the walls, which you certainly want to sort out. Get them off the wall. Um, but yeah, where to send them? Ah, oh, off here. Get them off here with a pike line. And then flank on here. Possibly. These, um, these Pelagian mar Marines might die. I mean, it looks like uh, Gondor's doing a good job clearing up Dol Guldor here. Balance power is shot massively back in favor of uh, Gondor. It's going to... I think, certainly, uh, Dol Guldor is just not going to beat them. I think they're going to rely on Isengard and on Rune to do the, do the dirty work. Uh, we've got Pikes in here, though. Fighting these Citadel Guard. It'll be interesting to see who wins this. They need to get these pikes a little bit closer, certainly focus, um, to force these guys back. Get the swords in behind. But this Citadel Guard is an elite unit, so I mean, it's going to take a lot to kill these guys. It will need a lot. 
Uh, maybe some archers. And as you can see back there, we've got Warlords of Rune getting ready. Another elite shock infantry unit. But yeah, it's, but it's not many places that Evil has made like a real breach. I mean, they've got guys coming off here now. We've got more Urukai infantry off here. This is what they need to do. Just flank around. We've got Gondor archers here. Chasing away. Get these Varag Warriors. Go down here. Fight the Spear infantry. Shock does very well against spears in this mod, uh, guys, if you didn't know. Um, yeah, swords will beat uh, swords will beat spears. Um, spears will... Actually, no. Do spears can't... I can't remember, actually. You know what? I can't remember. I'm going to say spears will beat swords, but I could be wrong. I honestly can't remember. I can't remember the combo. Surely shock would just be anything, though. Shock is just pretty damn good against everything. Certainly when it's elite, like these uh, Warlords of Rune, who are just running through now. They don't even care. They probably should. They're going after archers. They're literally, all of the uh, enemy forces are going after archers. Oh, that's a good hit by the trebuchet, which is still in action. How this trebuchet is still in action, I do not know. But uh, it is focusing down Loki Rim archers. Which I'm pretty sure are now the cheaper variant of, like, archers that you can get as... Uh, rune, uh, the Loki Rune. I could be wrong. Certainly, the, the not the better ones to get. You better get in the Varig uh, Archers because they have better missile block. But I mean, yeah, they're doing a, they're damaging up these uh, Gondor Archers quite nicely. As we uh, go over here, you can see another big blob. We've got uh, Axeman or Lozen Arch in here. Uh, this unit is already it's got gold chevrons, but it's not doing a great job against these Urukai infantry. Not at all. And they're actually falling back. I don't know if they've broken. No, they are just falling back. Are they going to fall back and do another charge? They are in their, uh, like, triangle formation, I guess you call it. It is just a triangle, Pope. So it's definitely a triangle formation. Um, but yeah, I mean, it looks like Gondor's going to fall back a lot of his troops. It's... Well, oh, it's because we have uh, a shock infantry in here. We have some Varig warriors taking out some Pelagian marines. This will be a one-sided fight, sadly. Uh, these Pelagian Marines will not last long. I certainly hope, hope that they keep this unit in for uh, for Dol Amroth. I don't know why. I just really... I think Pelagian... Isn't Pelagian supposed to be near Dol Amroth? I can't remember. But um, they could certainly keep that unit in for Dol Amroth when the submod eventually updates. But yeah, they're having to send in archers with no ammo here. They got all these Pelagian Marines out of here. Oh, no, that's a different one. Ah, uh, that's a shame. And, yeah, so they, they've joined the fight. And they're holding back. This unit's now holding back three units, basically. Um, if they can do a good enough job here and break and get inside, that'll be great. Ah, we have some White Hand Sappers coming up. If you saw my last uh, Rise of Mordor Siege, which was um, Umbar. I do have... <laughs> How did I forget? It's literally a few days ago. Um, White Hand Sappers got... Quite a lot of kills, and I saw for the first time why they're useful. They're basically like, well, infantry napalm, I want to say. They don't blow up walls. They just kill people with fire. But they're not being sent in yet, but they're very, very vulnerable to uh, to archers. They they will get rinsed. And here they come into the light. We can finally see these guys. Are they literally just going to walk through this gap? Are they going to... No. Are they, they look like they were honestly going to run the, the gauntlet and try and get through, but they got stuck. Um, are they really going to let these guys just die? Please don't. Don't let the mine men... I know you've got two more units somewhere back there, but don't let the mine men die. You've clearly brought three for a reason. Um, but I'll keep an eye on that. If that, if all of a sudden all those men d are dead there at the wall uh, for Gondor, there, there will be no reason. Um, but yeah, I mean, they've sent up more Urukai now. This is a real issue now for Gondor. They're having to send up some Warriors of Loznarch, again with Gold Chevrons. But over here you can see Dol Guldur has really solidified this flank. Um, but not so much the front. The gate is still holding quite strong. Those Citadel Guard doing a good job. There we go. He's got those goddamn sappers out of there. And none of them died, surprisingly. But please, I beg, use them somewhere. Um, I don't know whether he's going to do it over here to free up these guys. Looks... Oh, he's lost two now. But yeah, lots of... We've got now Shock Infantry in here. We've got... Axeman of the Lost and Arch in here. And they will uh, certainly even up the fight a little bit more. It's just a mess in here. If you can tell, if you, like, no Rise of Mordor and you know the uniforms, then you know, like, what's happening. You've got, like, 
You've got the Eastlings of, or Rune over here with his mad banners on their backs. You've got like Gondor here with the Loznart shields on. We've got Isengard here with their white hands on their shields. And obviously Gondor again here holding this line. Just look for anything silvery, which is Gondor basically. Um, but yeah, I'm still looking for those sappers. Did they, he honestly just sent the sappers into fight? Oh, come on. Use them properly. I beg. Like, these units here, I mean, I know there's a Varag Warrior unit way in here, but they could send one back. Those Varag Warriors might not break through instantly. They've also got plenty over here that could just do with being freed up. Like, these spears here, these silly little guards, flanking hard onto these Urukai. And uh, Varag Warriors actually breaking. This flank's now gone. The sappers are dead. What a waste. What a waste. Oh, uh, the Varag Warriors return, but for how long? Interesting. Let's see how Dolgaldor's doing. I mean, he's got pikes over fighting archers. This is only going to end well. Oh, actually, the pikes aren't up. He needs to get his pikes up. Otherwise, his archers stand a chance. There we go. Looks a bit more brighter. Some, sometimes, like, the brightness is just awful for uh, these gold Dolgaldor units. I mean, just anyone that's in dark. This time, you can see them. And they're glorious dark black uniforms as like Gondor just bashes against them yeah get the pikes up and you can just route this unit really quickly and then like you can make a push and you can flank around here but yeah they should start pushing hard send these uh, champions of gold Dol Goldor and as your general but send them in route this unit and then you can push hard and surround what's left over here and cut it off from the escape back to the uh, bridges so it looks like it's gonna be a two-tiered attack by Gondor uh, which is really good to see. I'm glad they're not just going re like really super try hard um, and just like condemning like Dolgaldor because they had a really rough time. I mean like oh not Dolgaldor but just the all the attackers. They've got the units all the way out here. They want to bring back in. But yeah, most of the attackers are actually committed. Um, they have about three thousand men left. Gondor does have the slight advantage, but like if you can start surrounding stuff soon, that could really help. I'm starting to see some formations being used, which is good. Urukai over here in their formation. Like a wedge formation. We've got Morokai in a wedge formation. But yeah, they're really struggling over here. Um, they have got troops off the wall here now. Urukai now off the walls. And we've got uh, more Varags off the wall. But I mean, they really need to get a move on. And start flanking some Gondor troops. As uh, we've got Warlords of Rune coming in here. Lots of shock infantry for Rune in this area now. And they push it. Uh, that's that's sort of a push through, I guess, by war, the warlords. There, they kind of just went from this unit on to the next. I mean, they're certainly seeing the uh, the damage from it, losing decisively now. And um, what they've got here, they've got archers in here. They still got ammo. I think they do. Well, this one certainly does. Maybe this one doesn't. I'm gonna say it doesn't. It's losing though. Uh, they need to get these units here, though. They need to get them mobilized. I mean, you've got Loznarch here. Just, well, the Warriors of Loznarch just coming around. Going to mind their own business. Don't mind us. We're just going to go back towards the uh, the, the river. And the Urukai are just like, yeah, sure. It's fine. We don't mind. Uh, like, a couple of them fine here. Who's going to win? Oh, no. They ju they're just like, ah, got you there. And it looks like we've got Pelagir Marines coming up. Yeah, they just go in, attack these guys. I don't know what what they're doing here exactly. It must be AFK, just not realizing that some warriors of Loznarch are just sneaking around the entire way. As archers are beating pikes, I ugh, it hates. I hate to see it when uh, from Dol Guldur, he's not even using his pikes, like as pikes. <laughs> Please use the pikes. Get the big pointy spears out. I beg. How many of these men died? Yeah, they're wavering now. They're gone. They broke. Because they get pikes out. Just get the pikes out. And those warriors of Loznarch have snuck around. Uh, we now have the uh, Wyan Sappers up here as well. They're going in. Is he actually going to use them as proper uh, infantry? I do not know. But yeah, there's a massive like wave coming through here. There's like, hardly any Gondor troops in here holding them back. 
in fairness. But there we go. Look at the mess in here. There's all sorts in here now. We've got Isengard. We've got Rune. We've got Gondor. Holding the line. I thought I was a headless man, but it's just the uh, the mines. Which I don't know where the mines are going. The Wyan Sappers. They need a... They need to do their fire ability or whatever is their ability that they can do. I mean, we, there's still two units here of Isengard just so deep in enemy lines. Dol Guldor's also just ground to a halt in assaulting. He's got pikes on the walls. He needs to get these guys on off the walls. I hear he's got pikes here as well. Get them off the walls, I swear to God. I mean, yeah, Gondor's like looks like he's uh, just happy to let Dol Guldor get off the walls. I mean, he's... Uh, Warlords of Rune here as well, beating the Spears, losing decisively. These Citadel Guards, though, have lost like 30 men. I would They have killed, I'm going to say hundreds. You can see the bodies down there. Look at the amount of bodies down here. And this is like just swords, uh, Dogledore blades. Oh, gosh, that's not a good sign. Uh, the Goldor Pikes using a lot of troops there. That's not good. I, I don't know who won that, like did well out of that. I'm going to say neither side, but this is a really cool formation here by Gondor. If I can uh, get in. There we go. Imagine being one of these uh, guys. It's just a thick line here. A thick with three Cs of Gondor uh, spears here. This is... It's just things like this. This formation, it just reminds me. Like, all these, like, just standing to attention. It just reminds me of, like, the battle for Minas Tirith. Just so much. Just like the manning the walls. It looks excellent. Um, we've got phantoms here. Just ready. I mean, yeah, look. They're sending in these Wyan Sappers. Why buy the Wyan Sappers if you're going to use them like as infantry? Unless the players didn't know how to use them. I don't know. But it's just not how you're supposed to use them. And these two units are still here AF AFK. I don't know what's happened. Are they broken? Who knows? Um, does Isengard just not realize he had them? I don't know. But yeah, it's a bloody fight here. Still at the gate. Archers now having to fight Spears. Uh, I can't see the Archers winning. Even if they are low-key rim. Oh, that poor man impaled there. You're seeing all the dead, like all the uh, dead men and the banners has fallen over already. Looks excellent. But yeah, the cavalry in here, that should help. Um, I don't know really what else it can do. I just really am annoyed that these two units of Urukai aren't moving. They could be really useful in flanking stuff right now. We've got pikes going in. I presume not as pikes, so, which is frustrating. They could break these guys so much quicker if they were actually pikes. Um, but these still guard probably will be fine now. They'll, they'll be okay just being surrounded. They don't mind. Uh, pikes here, just getting off the wall. He's just using his normal infantry, which in that case, you might as well just buy more normal infantry. Uh, I don't see like the point of doing anything else. But let's, uh, and what we've got coming around here, we've got, oh, these are Warriors Lost Notch. Just quite, kind of happy to stand there. We've got Gondor Archers coming in here as well. Coming to join the fight. Uh, if they can kill the Eastling General, that would really help. Or the Rune General, I should now say. They're no longer called the Eastlings. Rune. But uh, I do imagine that these archers won't be enough to break through or, or kill off these cavalry. I could be wrong. These guys are in combat like a fairly long time. They've certainly sent them from uh, to even instead of winning decisively. I'm hearing artillery still going off. Is it here? Is this artillery here, isn't it? It's Onager. Did that Onager just get... I think it might have lost a few artillery crew just because of the... Uh, Thing that I could be wrong. I don't know. They might have lost them somewhere else. Or is that them there? No. What is? Oh yeah, there they are. Two dead. I thought they were just two random blobs of brick. I don't know what this is trying to fire at. Uh, there's a damage of 10% there on the wall. It's been taken out four towers. Why? I mean, they've taken everything over here as well. I do wonder what's like. It's gone a little. If like units aren't moving or what, I don't know. I do not know. The cavalry here is doing a good job. It's killing off, uh, killing off more infantry, as you do. 
If you have a massive axe in one hand and you're on a horse, just lop off people's heads. You're entitled to in this world. Imagine just walking along and just like, just all of a sudden, some like you just hit the hooves and of some horse and just nothing, and just like, I wonder why I died. And then just like some guys, just like, well, I've just got an axe in one hand, and I'm on a horse, so I'm entitled to do it. I'm entitled to kill you. But yeah, these archers, I think, did they beat those spears or did they? I don't know. We want to certainly flank round. Yeah, the cavalry's now losing. The spears obviously supporting that fight. Yeah, that, that general's not not long for this world. Dolgaldor finally killing off this Citadel guard. Um, I just it's taken so much. These guys have probably killed hundreds upon hundreds. They got their pikes out here, so they managed to do the like. He managed to get his pikes out there. Why not get your pikes out in the in the back? Just force them into the pikes, like on either side. Like these ones here, just push them into the pikes on that side, and these ones do vice versa. You break these Sildar Guard and kill them off so much quicker. But uh, yeah, it's a kind of interesting play by him just to use them as swords. The pikes for Dolgaldor are awesome though, as uh, the camera just sort of moves around. Um, but yeah, I mean, it looks like Gondor is just. Well, preparing everything at the back here. He's pulling back Fountain Guard. He's pulling back Onagers. These two units here are still just minding their own business. I don't know whether these guys are just getting, like, a standing here. Just in case they think they're, like, they're going to sally across the bridge. But, I mean, it doesn't look like they're going to. I mean, the worrying thing is that you're coming on against... Oh, there. That's Eastling's General dead. Uh, that's not a good sign. Um, but, I mean, the worrying thing is that you're still coming up against some of the more elite stuff. You've still got Fountain Scanner over you've still got Gondor Spears. You've got Onagers, uh, which is worrying. You've got Ithilien Rangers with full ammunition. You've got Gondor Archers with full ammunition. Fountain Guard. More Ithilien Rangers. Like, there is a lot of stuff left. Have they got... Oh, my God, there's a lot of Fountain Guard left. Um, yeah, actually, there is, like, five units I've counted, I think, of Fountain Guard. And the Citadel Guard as well. They have, like, got... The enemies just do not have the ability to take this on. I mean, they've got to be really careful. They have to use their artillery against, like, Fountain Guard. Um, archers, which, whatever they got left of them, but... That's not many. Talking of archers, there's Gondor archers here. Still fighting at this goddamn... Uh, gate against Loki Rim archers. I just don't know... How they've held so long at this gate. Like, there's been just... Thousands of troops coming through. Thousands upon thousands, as the cavalry still holds its, its like this ground here. We've got fighting over here now. We've got phantoms still in. These like phantoms have been in since the beginning of the fight. Taking on Cyrilo Guard. Is that the Cyrilo Guard that broke there? No, that one's still still dying slowly. Yep, you're dead for a second time, sir. Uh, as as are you. That's a shame. At least the Silo Guard don't have to worry about uh, dying. At least they might be able to come back. Oh, there you go. You'll you'll come back as a phantom, I'm sure. Yeah, so it looks like these uh, Silo, Silo Guard are going to fall back. I don't know why. They were doing okay. Now they're uh, dying quite quickly. They're falling back, dying. And yeah, they're getting cut down. Poor guys. Wavering now. Um, but yeah, these champions of Dolgaldor, they really should just get in and just kill some stuff. It's like a tiny unit here as well. Of Gondol Spear Infantry. That's just being stared at by the gold Dolgaldor. We've got Gondol Swords over there as well doing something, but who knows what. And these Citadel of Guard now are actually winning the fight against Dolgaldor. Send in these shock, please, I beg. Um, but yeah, no, this is... Uh, Turning into a little bit of a just scrappy fight. There's not much left. We've got White Hand Solomons. Look at them in their shield wall formation. Or Test Judo almost. No, it is 100% a Test Judo. Look at that. There you go. Now get in there and do some damage. Uh, I mean, there's not much damage to these Gondol Swords are here. You've got Archers there. 
Got Spears here, you might actually want to help against them. Get that cavalry out. Might be kind of useful. Let's do more stuff up. Oh, it's this fountain guard. They're being moved back. Jeez. Just, why would you even attempt to attack this? You just wouldn't. You'd wait, and you'd get artillery, you'd fire into this thing. And get some nasty kills. I mean, it looks excellent, doesn't it? Just insane. That is just horrifying. And they're actually going to send stuff across the river, it looks like. They're going to send Citadel Guard, they call Fans Guard. They're going to go out and they're going to go and finish the job off. And I think they should. I think Gondor doesn't need to attack here or defend here. Just go out and finish the job. Um, the defenders got like no uh, the attackers sorry got like nothing left. They've got a full unit on the walls here. Um, I definitely think there must be like some players being AFK at points. Like these Goldor glaives here you need to get off the walls. Like there's a unit of Lost Arch down here they could just go after. Like this unit here has been here for ages. So I don't know whether it's just a bit buggy. Like is the replay just because of the uh, I don't know just because of updates or whether this is just players just being AFK and being a bit unobservant of what's going on. Goldor Pikes here now fighting against these uh, Gondor Spear Infantry. If they put the Pikes out like I said they do okay but they haven't. What's moving now? We've got the General moving up. Dolgaldor. And we've got a uh, White Hand. Like, I don't know why he's moving his General up here. But he's got these two units here. I guess they can fight them, but... I don't know. Those two units have been there a long time, and here we go. No, they're, they're not fancying that, and I agree. That's uh, not a good idea by the... Oh, they're gonna have a volley though. They're gonna get a volley for their uh, for their Jews. Yeah, I would not assault that. I'd maybe go back now because the fountain guards are peeling off, and it looks like it's gonna go and deal with well Dolgaldor by the looks of it. But here we go. It looks like we're gonna have a bit of a fight with these silver guards. Uh, yeah, these guys are just getting stuck and then fighting. I don't know what's happened to these units here. There we go. They've gone into combat against these guys. I'm not. I'm uh, these units just stood here for ages. I don't know why they haven't been like attacked. Got Sildar Guard coming up. The general now going in. He's going to go. Oh, he's going to peel off. Got Pikes now going. They're going to go and deal with the stuff at the uh, at the gates. And that's kind of it. That's really all there is left. I mean, there's a big bunch of uh, Dolgal Door here, but like, yeah, that's not enough to deal with all of the stuff coming across this river now, which is all Pikes. And all, like, Sailor Dog Guard. And there's some spears. But, like, there's still a decent enough danger to, like, most of this stuff. You're like, imagine being one of these pikes. You're like, yes, we got through. And then you're just like, oh, no. More shields. And more archers. And here we go. We've got Athelian Rangers now. Giving off a volley. Yeah, uh, these pikes, uh, we should have the pikes out. And these Dottle Goldor. Um... Champions of Dolgal Dodge. They're all going to get focused down. Got no shields. Which is a real shame. Real shame. But this fight's still going on over here. How are these swords still fighting? There's like a tiny unit 17 and they're beating Loki Rim. Bizarre. I tell you, bizarre. Someone's a muling fool and he's killing. Okay, well, I can tell you one thing. That muling fool is definitely probably uh, an orc, a little orc. Because orc lives don't matter, they're muling fools. But I mean, look at these Sildo Guard. Oh, beautiful. As it ever so slightly jitters. And there you go, the pikes, that's what you do. Get your pikes down and you get in there and fight these guys. Looks like it's going to go through, though. It just seems like these units should not be here. <laughs> uh, like, they're just pushing on through. Like, they don't care about the Surakai being here. Found guard. 
They're just moving on to these pikes, which haven't got their pikes down. This unit has this tiny unit, but in the big unit needs to get its pikes down. They can force these uh, spears back at least. But it's massively not in their favor now. It's just like impossible for them to win this. I definitely think that Lawson Arch unit shouldn't be there. I think that should be dead. Oh, I don't know what's happened. This uh certainly a bit bizarre. And there we go. We've got Doggled up uh, going in. Taking on the Spears of Gondor. And the Pikes of the Fountain Guard. As they come come down just like that. Oh, beautiful. Coming down through the spear line. Poking their, way, poking their heads out, their deadly blades out. There's no fountains to guard anymore, apparently. It's just all uh, killing orcs. Well, nothing better to do. I mean, this Fountain Guard actually is losing here. It's got its wrong position. Thelian Ranger's being sent in to help. I'd certainly be sending some more stuff in. What's this? Oh, it's Phantoms, isn't it? Eight men left. Jeez. Imagine being one of these eight guys. Or ghouls. Or Phantoms. Just call them Phantoms. That's what they are. Just get cut down by... Uh, the men of Gondor. Sildel Guard now coming in. They're going to deal with what is remains of these guys here. Which is just... They've stood here for ages of these guys. I don't know what's going on. I definitely think that uh, something's up with the replay. But it's been pretty epic anyway. I do enjoy uh, checking out this mod. And everyone's uh, like battles that they send in. They are really, really fun to watch. And uh, well, well, we'll have to see... Uh, what the new updates bring. They have, uh, I've heard some of the rumors what they've got coming up. Sounds really exciting. And uh, I can't wait to see where this mod will go. What more factions will be added. And uh, the community is growing bigger and bigger as um, well as like more replays come out. And like this more factions. Certainly with the elves came out. This, the community grew massively. And I hope it continues to. Can't wait to play with some of you guys on the battlefield. As like found to guard over there, just run away and just don't fancy the fight. Um, so I'm just gonna fast forward because there's uh, not really much left for this to happen. It looks it's obvious that uh, the men are going to win. The men of Gondor, as uh, you can see, some fountain guard flanking on round, and they're gonna take on these pikes. They need to push forward with these ones. Sandwich them. Make an orc sandwich. Was there ever this many Fountain Guard? I just thought, thinking, like, there's five units of Fountain Guard on the map. I wonder if the Fountain Guard actually is a re relatively big unit, like, in size, and, or whether it is just, like, a few guys, like, four or five men that are just defending the fountain, like it is in the movies. I would like, it'd be interesting to know. I'm sure it was, like, a battalion in size or something like that. I'm sure it wasn't just, like, four guys. I could be wrong. It may honestly be four guys. It's, they didn't seem to like look like they were ever going to do much fighting anytime soon. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I, mm, I don't know actually. These guys are not really stuck on the wall. Actually, are they? They might be. They might be stuck on the wall. Oh, and these guys are stuck on the wall. Oh no, they no, they could get off. They could get off. They could get off there. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what's happening with these guys. These gold or glaives could have been really useful so at some points. But here we go. It looks like the uh, general is also getting attacked by, uh, well, by Gondor. And this will probably be the final faction that has to go. I'm... It may also be the map. The map might just be a little bit broken on Ethering. But uh, I'm not sure. I don't want to say that because the devs do such a good job on the maps. I'm sure they've uh, it, it per works perfectly fine. But some units look like they've just got stuck. Or it may, like I said, it may just be the update. And there we go. It looks like uh, they've survived another fight of these uh, champions of Dolgaldor. And we'll just fast forward to the end because there's only uh, 30 seconds left. I do, I just, I think there's going to be some conceding of defeats in a moment. There's far too much left for us all to just chain route. But yeah, it does look like the Gondor is going to hold on to Ethering. The three armies are not going to be enough. It'll be interesting to see whether like some of the evil factions do get buffs. 
Um, and there we go. A close defeat. Oh, apparently it was a close defeat for Gondor, but it wasn't uh, at all. So yeah, it looks like the uh, replay does not uh, does not like work properly. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, if you did, then please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment until next time. And I'll see you guys later.